this game came out as an April Fool's joke, okay? An April Fool's joke, right? I'm not an idiot. I knew how your game came out. I've studied it. I was such a big fan of it. I watched Dr. Disrespect and Shroud play it as well. I've watched so much interest in the YouTube community or so much, yeah, so many YouTubers drawn interest in this game because it was fascinating. It was different. It was original. And it was clear to see that you weren't trying to take our money and you're very greedy now. So I want to, I want to, I, I've, I've done this with Fortnite. I've called out those developers. I did it with Creative Destruction, and that's why I no longer work with those developers is because I had the audacity as I was working with them to call them out on being greedy, taking advantage of every single one of the people who support you. We support your game. We are the reason your game got anywhere. And now you guys understand that we are a money, we're a money-making scheme for you, which may be true, but you don't, you don't manipulate that factor, that aspect of things. That's just a compliment of, of, of how well you designed a game. The money that you've gotten is a compliment on how well you've done things. But you will not continue getting money out of us the same way you did if you don't instill the same amount of heart and integrity in your game. It is a no-brainer. I shouldn't be the consumer talking down to the developer to 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 get down from his high horse this is a greedy capitalistic mind frame and you can get so much more money out of the game being honest and genuine with your population and your fan base hey it takes money going into a game and with all the support you guys can give us we are able to do updates like this we are able to get you skins we're able to get new guns we're able to spend time because we have the money to back it up and then then you can offer us a lot of good deals and we'll go spend it we'll go in your shop and we'll spend it but this is not the way this is not how you go about business this is not right this is corrupt this is greedy this game is free there should be nothing in the game that costs money listen not you got to listen to the whole thing should be nothing in the game that costs money listen that affects the competitive aspects of that that game the physical game itself i'm not saying there shouldn't be anything in the game that that, that you shouldn't charge for it. that's neither here nor there we're not talking about that this is a competitive aspect and you're charging for it and it, and, and, and and these kids don't want to spend 20 bucks and i don't want to spend 20 bucks on your game when you barely know how to communicate to us, you're taking advantage of us. You're manipulating your fan base. You know, you're not doing the right thing and you know it. When you see this video, because I swear your Cuisine Royale population is going to see this. They're going to feel the way I'm talking about it. And they're going to share this video. They're going to go to your social media. They're going to post this video. They're going to go in your comment section in Steam. They're going to post the link because they're just as passionate and they believe it just as much as I do. This is bullshit. Message to the developers. Open up your eyes or your game is going to fail. It's not a joke, bro. It's, this is bullshit. And I could go and rant and rave all day, man. This is what I'm good at. I, can, I, I know what we deserve. And I know how a developer needs to go about doing their business. Because I'm the consumer. And the customer is always right. Remember that. So I'm going to end this video. And if you guys, if you guys feel as passionate as me, I need you to watch this whole video. If you guys are as passionate as me and you want this to get to them, whether it's going to change or not, if you just want them to feel the heat, feel the burn, feel some righteousness for a minute, let them know what's up. Share this video, like this video, watch the whole video. Why watch the whole, because watch time helps the video grow. The longer you can be here, the longer my audience can engage in this video, the, the long, the, the more, uh, YouTube recommendations it sends out to the, to the cuisine real populace, send this video out. This is unacceptable. Uh, what's up guys? I have some absolute terrible news and I did not want to bring this news to you guys. I really didn't, man. I absolutely did not want to bring this news to you guys, but as you know, if you guys don't know about me and this is your first time ever watching me, I was a content creator in a game called Creative Destruction. I played Fortnite. I have world records in a lot of games. 
um, high tier stats, you know, like Global Elite and Counter Strike Source, all that stuff. So I have about 15 years of experience in the, in the competitive gaming world in the community. Okay, so what I'm about to say is passionate as I'm about to say it. I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. But uh, as as someone as transparent as I am, and anybody that knows my channel, they know that I have to be honest and I have to be transparent with people. So as developers of creative, I mean, uh, Cuisine Riel, this is this is sickening this makes me sick to my stomach um and i'm going to address all the issues with the game right now i'll address some of the highlights i'll address some of the good stuff with the update i'll address what i do like about the game and where it should have gone but i have to make this video because i came in to see i came in to see how i can make a video for you guys for the cuisine royale fans on the two new skins i just wanted to try the two not the skins the whatever they the people, the characters. I wanted to try them out, make video content, and have you guys see if, if it's a, like a skin you want to play with or a character. And I'm here, and 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 if if I'm wrong, anybody can go in the comments, and I will I will I will I will take take it to the chin if I'm wrong, and I missed it somewhere, and I'm hoping I missed it somewhere. So you guys can go in the comments, be like, hey man, no offense, hey you missed it, it's right here, and you can actually unlock it. Dope man, my bad for even making this video then. Um, but I. I it, I just got here and I'm going to show you what I'm swifting through. Let me, let me, let me get my mic, I mean, my camera a little smaller. So, so this is, this is the update. Okay, guys, there's a huge update as you guys probably already know. They pushed it back. They keep pushing it back. They don't communicate with us and they just say, you know, oh, oh the update's here. It's at this day. We're all excited. We're like, yes, yes, yes. That day's there. We're all in the community hub and the, the update's not there. Okay, like stuff happens. We understand you guys are developers. It's not easy doing this another week another two weeks another month another month and a half two months three months four It's ridiculous, right? We're finally here at the update. Okay We know there's gonna be so many up like so many things with the updates because they tell us every week Maybe multiple times a week. Hey, there's this going on. There's a new tank. There's a new gun. There's new map. There's new uh, Rituals, there's new way of unlocking things like we understand what we didn't understand, it was going to be a completely new game. We didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, I don't think you guys were communicating. And this is totally a message to the Russian developers. You guys can go put this in a in a translator if you wish. Like, I have no disrespect. I'm only going to keep it real and only keep it transparent with you guys. So uh, we are here at the update. And I, like I said, I wanted to get you guys these skins, show you guys some material. But I'm really confused because... Um, there's two new characters that have been added, right? It's the Luis Boker Celine, right? And that's like a zombie dude, and he looks like Rob Zombie, to be honest. And then there's this the Asian lady, right? Sin Huli Yao Yubi, right? And 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 first of all, first thing and for and, and foremost, this comes off a of Gaijin net, which is definitely an Asian type of market, Oriental type of market. So the fact that this is being pushed in our face and we already have PUBG that's completely bought over by the Tencent Corporation. And it was like pretty much an American game and it, and it completely went Asian. Like there's no, it's not, I'm not, there is no connotation behind it, negative or positive. I am just pointing out the facts. It is completely Oriental. When I go play PUBG, it's all Asian skins. It's Asian names. It's Asian everything. And, and, and like I said, there's no connotations towards left or right. It's just, that's what it is. But you know what I'm saying? It's being pushed in our face, bro. Like, so are these the people who are really running the game is the Asians? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but come on. That's a little suspicious. Um, but at the same time, let's be honest, you know, like as we're assessing the situation, like there's 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 like a Russian dude. There's like a Native American dude. There's a white lady. They have like a Native American lady, a black lady, like right. And then there's white. There's a black dude. So maybe they're just hitting all maybe they're just hitting every spectrum. Maybe. Who knows? We'll find them more. But that's this video is not about that. But as you guys know, you get you get these things, right? So there's there's this one, okay? And you get there's all these things that come with it, right? So this this is going to be a complete game changer, whether we like it or not. It's a game changer. Whether we're going to use it or not, it's a game changer because if you don't have it, it's a different way of playing. And if someone could play like this and you don't know how they're playing, that's a that's a competitive that's a high that's a competitive um um higher up. It's a competitive aspect, right? So same thing with this, right? 
I don't like I okay, so it says spawn a swarm of fireflies that search for enemies in a 50 meter radius and reveal their position to you for the next 20 seconds. Be careful when you use it though as the direction in which the fireflies came can tell your enemies about your position. Okay, dope. Would love to try it. Whether it's going to be my favorite character or not is beside the point. I just want to try it. Want to I want to have fun. I want to experience the game at its full potential, at its full potential. And I don't I don't need to spend money if the game the game is free. I don't need to spend money to enjoy the game at its full potential. That's my belief, okay? So we have these two skins, right? And I can't I I can buy them with 750 crowns, okay? How much is 750 crowns? Well, it's about what? That's it's about 10 bucks, okay? So you have to spend about 20 bucks to get both of those skins, okay? And I, and I might even do it. I might talk to my wife and I might even literally do it right after this video. But it's beside the point. Does everybody have 20 bucks? No. The, uh, people that want to come to the game and go to a big update and spend 20 bucks? No. That's who I defend. That's who I make these videos for. Because I was there once. I was that kid who couldn't afford anything. And this would piss me off if I wanted to play a game. And these kids are running around with all these cool customizations and all these different perks that I can't even use because I don't have the money to pay for it. It's greedy, man. That's not right. So, so look. So I have all these unlocked already, right? And I want to get these, right? So I'm like, okay, is there a way to unlock it? Now, I don't know if I was the only one for whatever. I don't. Not the only one, but I don't know if I got the battle pass because I purchased the battle pass on the last season. I don't know how that works, but I did get the battle pass. So it's it just granted me the battle pass, right? And I was like, oh, I was talking to my wife before making this video, and I'm like, oh, maybe they do got it. I don't even got to make this. But it's just a skin. See, a suit, a neon suit. So it's you'll never get a second chance to make a first impression on those you kill a custom sets mood and helps uh, a costume sets mood and helps in combat, right? So it's a costume. I don't get the character. We just were at it and it was locked. So I'm like, okay, no problem. Let me search. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the developers aren't greedy. Like I, I, they make a dope game. I said, I'll give credit when credits due. I love their game. I, I have always loved their game and, and, I can get into many detail of why I love their game. But right now I just want to talk about what's important. So I'm like, okay, these guys aren't greedy. They're not going to do this to us. They wouldn't do that to us, man. If you bought the pass, they'll, they'll give you a right to earn the character. I'm like, that's what they'll do. I was like, okay, maybe this is it. It says voodoo pre-suit. And I'm just thinking that's part of the, 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 the regular male skin, right? The, uh, whatever the, the dude who does the, oh, and he runs that people. The, the beast, right? That's just the beast. Another costume for the beast, right? So it's like champion badge. It's a badge. I'm like, okay, I get I get all these things. But I, 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 you know what I'm saying? These are just like rituals and stuff. I don't feel like I'm getting anything out of this pass. So it, it, it you know, it really bugs me. Um, it, it, it really does bug me. I want to hear your guys' opinion on it. And like I said, if I missed it and this video was pointless, fine. Let it be. I'll, I'll even delete the video. I'll take it to the chin. It's not the first time I've ever deleted a video. Um, let me know. Hey, you missed it. It's actually right there. You can earn it. I know it's hard to see. I'll be like, dude, my bad. Thanks for letting me know. But as far as right now, I'm very not happy with the developers. This is greedy. This is greedy at its finest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this one like one big point on this is it's a message to the developers 